In this video, we're going to try and evaluate a function at a variable location. In other words, we'll have a function like g of x is equal to x to the fourth plus one, and we're asked to find g of three x. Notice the x has been replaced with three x in the notation. We can follow the exact same pattern replacing the x on the other side of the function with the same 3x. It's almost like it's being upgraded to a new and better x. It's not just x, now it's been replaced with 3x raised to the fourth power plus one. Notice these functions are exactly the same. I've just replaced the x in parentheses with what I was asked to find, g of 3x. So the x is replaced with 3x. We can do a little simplifying using our exponent property because it's all multiplication inside. The four can go on to each factor, giving us three to the fourth, x to the fourth plus one. And three to the fourth, we can quickly calculate to be eighty-one, x to the fourth plus one. We now know g of three x is equal to the function eighty-one x to the fourth plus one. We got that by replacing the x with three x, replacing the x with three x in parentheses, and then simplifying the expression. Let's try one more example. Here we have p of t is equal to t squared minus t, and we're asked to find p of t plus one. And notice that entirety of t plus one is replacing the t in the p of t notation. This means wherever we see a t in the function, we're going to replace it with t plus one. So instead of t squared, it's now t plus one squared. Minus, instead of t, it's now t plus one. And again, notice as I make this substitution, as I make this replacement, we put it in parentheses. t plus one is in parentheses. We now just have to simplify what we have. Squaring a binomial, we cannot just distribute the two through. That only works with a product where it's multiplying inside the parentheses. Instead, we'll square the first, t squared, and then we have the product twice. One t plus one t is two t, and then we square the last number to get one. On the right side, we have to distribute that negative through the parentheses, giving us negative t and negative one. Let's combine like terms and see what we have. There's a t squared. Two t minus t is plus one t. And one minus one is zero. That's nice. That's completely gone. So we've simplified p of t plus one is going to equal to t squared plus t. Again, we found that by replacing the t's in the p function with t plus one. These t's, both t's, were replaced with t plus one in parentheses. The squared and the minus outside parentheses told us to distribute the negative and to square the binomial, and then combine like terms.